Hi, this is part 15 of Zero tutorial. Welcome to the new session. Previously, we have discussed the basic knowledge on Auth0, and now let's dig deeper. In this video, we are going to talk about how rules work in your flow. First, let's look at what is rule. Rule will be executed each time after login or refresh token and before back to your application. There might be several rules. All the rules are executed in order. To execute a rule, there's a time limit, which is 20 seconds. Let's try to understand these conceptions. Now let's go to our dashboard. This is our dashboard, and the rules is after the pipelines. You can simply create a rule by click this create button and choose the empty rule. This is empty rule because it's doing nothing in this script. We can add something into the rule. For example, we can console something. Also, we can change the name. For example, we can name it console rule. And let's save it. You see there's other two buttons, so we can save it and try. And you can see the console info here. There's another button which is saved and debugged. And this one will open a real-time web stack logs, so you can try to log in. If you follow previous tutorials, we created a application. Let's open it. We have opened it locally and let's click login. And go to the log, you can see the console info. So it explains what execute each time after login means. For refresh token, we won't demonstrate here. If you want, you can explore yourself. Now let's try the second one to execute by authors, so we need at least two rules. Let's create another rule. Still give it another name. Let's save the change. And now let's try to log in again. And you can see these two rules are executed in order. This is for the first row, and this is for the second one. And now let's look at the last one. 20 seconds limits for each row to execute. So I have rewrite the console row 2, which is I add some delay time in the row. So you can see I let it wait 19 seconds, and then wait for 0.1 seconds, and then finish it during waiting. It will console some log and let's save and try. And look at the log, it prints all the logs we desired. But how about we increase this 0.1 seconds to 1 second? So the total executed time will over 20 seconds. And let's see what's gonna happen. And you can see the output saying it exceeded the allow execution time. Now let's move on. There are some common rules we use. For example, to make sure the user's email is verified, or add extra info into the token, or we can call external endpoints, and also we can add information into our metadata in the user. In following a few sessions, I will go through them one by one. Thank you for watching.